If somehow you knew the positions and trajectories of every molecule in the Earth's atmosphere, you would know exactly which pockets of air you would need to heat up in order to, by a chain of reactions illustrated by something like the butterfly effect, create a hurricane that hits an intended target on the mainland. If you were all-knowing. Because that is what it would take. Weather is a complex, chaotic system that obeys the nonlinear dynamics of chaos theory. What that means is that even small differences in the initial conditions can have massive effects on the end outcomes. And that means that even a small amount of hot air in the right time and place can evolve into a hurricane. Hurricanes, also called typhoons or cyclones, depending on which part of the world you're in, are created when the sun heats up moist air above the ocean's surface. This warm air rises and cooler air rushes in underneath to fill the void it leaves behind. The rotation of the earth then causes this circulation of warm and cool air to begin spinning. And if the conditions are right, a hurricane is born. So, if you knew the exact position of every molecule of air in the atmosphere, and you knew its trajectories so you could somehow calculate what all of them were going to do in their future paths, then you would have all the information you would need in order to create a hurricane that would evolve to hit a desired target area. That's what it would take. The problem is, no matter how much secret technology and science you think the government and military is hiding from the public, they're still only human, not gods. Needless to say, it is epistemologically impossible to know the positions of that many particles of air at the same time and calculate their future trajectories. Now, weather modification in general can in practice be done on small scales, such as cloud seeding, where silver iodine is introduced to clouds which already have moisture in them, and it can then catalyze rainfall with mixed successes. There isn't even consensus in the scientific community that this effect is real, but it has been claimed to be employed successfully by several governments both to seed rainfall as well as to disperse fog and storms. But cloud seeding and known weather modification techniques are so localized and weak that they have negligible effect on a large-scale storm system like a hurricane. The amount of energy that is given off by a hurricane is immense. When so much warm air rises and cools in this spinning vortex, the heat equivalent of thousands of nuclear bombs is given off. The amount of energy and material resources it would take to control and direct such an immense amount of energy is truly staggering. Now, hypothetically, one can actually manipulate the path of a hurricane through multiple different theoretical techniques. But the basic principles are the same. Hurricanes require warm air to fuel themselves. So one can manipulate their path by cooling certain areas of the ocean and warming others. The hurricane will be stopped by patches of cold water and it will naturally steer towards the direction of the most hot air. This is why hurricanes typically hit Trump's adopted state of Florida. The amount of heat energy needed to actually do this and control the direction of a hurricane is more energy than is produced by the entire human species over the course of a full year, however. Let's briefly do the math to back that up. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, a fully developed hurricane can release heat energy at a rate of between 5 and 20 times 10 to the 13 watts. And according to the 1993 World Almanac, the entire human race used energy at a rate of 1 times 10 to the 13 watts in 1990. A rate that is less than 20% of the power of your average hurricane. 
So the energy involved in actually controlling the path of a hurricane, whether through directed energy beams or heat pumps or any kind of human engineering you can imagine, you just can't get around the first law of thermodynamics. You have to get the energy from somewhere, and there isn't enough energy available to the entirety of our species to direct and control even just one hurricane. So no, there are no hurricane machines that the government and military is secretly hiding from the masses and using to direct hurricanes at their will. Sorry, conspiracy theorists. Maybe try doing the math next time. And as always, if you like small bite-sized debunks like this or the longer ones I do on this channel, please subscribe for more. Stay curious and keep learning new things every day.